Good morning, good morning, good morning, NAR. This is Jeremiah J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks, bringing you good morning, NAR, for the first time in its history. And I'm here with my girl, Marky, to my right. Go ahead, Marky. What's going on, world? I'm your girl, Marky Lemons Rao, coming to you today from the Chicago South Side, home of the National Association of Realtors. And I am Carrie Little coming to you from the suburbs in Illinois, where I am the blogger for smartgirlmedia.com. Holler. Okay, so I'm coming from Rochester, New York, upstate New York. We're just as cold as Chicago, but we're here Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so good morning, NAR. What we wanted to do is give you folks some really great ways to get started for the NAR annual conference. And, and so, Marky, I guess let's get started with you. What, what, what do you think they should do to unpack this virtual conference since it's the first time ever? And, and so many of us are experiencing like Zoom fatigue and being virtual. How can, how can we get through this, have fun and, and, and take things to the next level? Well, you know what? Even though I'm a technology person, I still believe in having a journal and a notebook. And so I believe that they should have a journal and notebook in order to take all of their notes. One thing we know is that the next three days are going to be packed with education. Don't look to implement everything. I want you to go back. I want you to look mm -hmm. at your business plan and take away maybe five things or one thing every single day that you plan to implement, but it needs to be a part of your business plan. Don't do something random. Right. And, and like you always say, like be strategic in what you're going to be doing. And that is a big book. That is a big notebook. Carrie, what what about you? Any any tips for them getting started? I'm in agreement with Marky. Get out your notebooks. I'm gonna say get out your iPad and take notes because I like to take notes on an iPad. But let me right. say this: there are a lot of people that are watching right now that didn't even know that the virtual conference was happening right now. So I would say you still have time to register. So go to nar.realtor and go to events and register. This is the cheapest way, the least expensive way to go to a, an NAR realtor convention. You didn't have to pay for a hotel. You didn't have right. to pay for an airplane fly, uh, for a flight. So take advantage of it. The first session starts at 10 a.m. Central time. You still have time. It is worth every single penny. And I mean, it can't get better than this. Marky speaking today. You're hosting a networking roundtable. Take advantage of it. Yeah. I mean, and you know, go ahead. When Karen. we start thinking about our businesses and the power of referral, now is the time to build that referral network. And you're going to be online with over 10,000 fellow realtors who believe in education. I would say now is that time to really leverage uh, our current situation and build those global. And we have a, a large global network as well while online from the comfort of your home or your office. And I probably shouldn't say this, but you could probably stream it in the lunchroom. Oops. <laughs> well, it's, it, it's such a great point. You know, so often people are like, well, I don't <laughs> want to travel across the country. I don't want to get a hotel, stay, you know, stay in a, an expensive city, eat out every single day for four days, five days. That can get costly because, you know, some realtors are ballers on a budget, right? Especially coming into this winter season. Um, you know, they, they want to conserve, especially if you want to be fishing. <laughs> I said it, ballers on a budget. Or <laughs> no, I was like, that's, a, that's a book, DJ, man. I don't know. <laughs> ballers on a budget. You know, you want to be fiscally responsible, you, you know, and uh, what, why don't we get them right into, I, I thought we might share the screen and kind of maybe take them through the, the conference site. So if you are registered, because I know there's a lot to it, even that we've discovered in the last couple of days uh, of what you can look out for. So let's see if this works. If we come over here to it. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, so I had it attached to a scene. So this is the conference website. We are in the virtual lobby right now. I'm walking around. What's your first step? Let's. What was your first step, Marky? Because I think agenda. we're all different. I will go straight to the agenda and plan, especially if they're just doing this today. Look at all the different programs and get your agenda together. So if you wanted a particular speaker, you can go see all of those speakers uh, events. 
So I would come over right now and line up my agenda because once you know where you're going to go, then I would navigate everything else. But make sure after you go to agenda, we also have those networking sessions as well. So we want to network online and in real time with our fellow realtors in order to build that referral income. Well, <laughs> absolutely. So you have, and I think the first step for everybody, once you go in there, fill out your profile, put a photo, and then you put what your interests are, right? Whether you're residential, you're commercial, and then there's an algorithm within the platform that says, hey, here's some like-minded people. Like if I come in here and I go networking, it's going to tell me, suggest it for you. I've already filled out my profile and then it says, okay, these are people that you are like-minded individuals. Um, and Jay, man, you're right. Because when we would go to the actual conference, you know, when you log into the virtual conference, that um, it's like a, um, a place where you can just sit and network. This is, this looks like what we would actually do when we would be in another state. You would right. walk in, you'd see people, you know, we'd be like, hey, Jay, man, it's been a while. I haven't seen you since March, maybe at Rapid, right? Yeah, so, sure. um, and this is where you connect with the people that you've taken <laughs> classes with, NAR Leadership Academy. So take advantage of building out the profile and networking and hanging out. Well, and for you, you know what else? Go ahead, Marky. I'm sorry. You know, we would read people's badges, right? And so oh. this is another way that we would network. We, but I should probably put this badge on my forehead for the day. I'm sorry, Jay. I got, I got a bunch of them too. I think I was at the, uh, the Georgia Realtors, and they had a bunch of really funny ones. I'll, I'll maybe I'll, I'll wear it for tomorrow. But you also have an opportunity here, besides the suggested for you, you have the social feed. Uh, we, we don't qualify because we're speakers, but in your social feed, you can post photos, you can comment. And it gives you points, a point system for doing that. Um, and then you even have, like Carrie said, the hall talk. This is where, like literally at the conference, I'd be just, you're, you don't have anything to do. You're hanging out in the hallway. You're having a coffee. And then that's when you see people. Marky, oh, Carrie, oh, Jim, Joe, whoever it is, they've thought of that. And so when you do, when you have nothing else to do, because you should really book out this entire three days. Don't say, I want to go to this session, that session, the next session. And then when you don't have anything to do, just enter the hall talk, it's going to open up a mm -hmm. zoom room. So make sure you're camera ready. Right. I think that's a good, that's a good point for the entire conference. Be <laughs> camera. We did, ready. we did clean up. Not yeah. that I have on jeans or sweatpants. She's <laughs> got pajamas on. No. <laughs> I just got pajamas on. Well, oh, Let's you know, we've seen it all. Somebody, about what, you know, somebody um, might show up in their underwear. Who knows? But show up from the top up. Show up, show up from, from the, the top, top up. up. Oh, oh, we need that as a quote today. Show up from the top up. Business up top party down below. <laughs> 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 oh, no, this could go oh, south real fast. Uh, so what are some of your favorite sessions? Let's, uh, let's tell them, like, obviously, we got Brian Buffini. He starts, starts it off, right? Starts the conference off. Yes. And I think we all have Brian Buffini on our agenda for the day to go get that motivation. Uh, Brian Buffini does a phenomenal job of building uh, relationships. Uh, it used to be the pop uh, pop by visit. And so I want to go and see what his new take is, especially since pop by visits might not be uh, warmly acceptable due to quarantine and different rules yes. and regulations in the States. Yeah. And, but I'll and say this, because I remember first seeing Brian Buffini in person in 2003, where there were thousands of realtors at uh, Rosemont. And um, he did talk a lot about Popeyes. And I think, cause some of us are still giving out pies for the holidays. So even though we know it may not be socially acceptable, we still might call some of our network and to see if they do want us to stop by. Yeah. And his favorite saying top of the morning to you and the rest of the day to you is how you're supposed to reply for that. But here's one thing that I did notice because as often as we collaborate, you know, Marky, Carrie and I, I'm East Coast, they're Central. And, and we always have to be like Central time, Eastern time. The entire conference is in Central time, which threw me off because I put stuff in my calendar, Eastern. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, shoot. Late uh, for things. and <laughs> Well, I'd be early because I'm like, I'm presenting today. I have a networking round table today at 12. When we talk about the networking round tables, I think do you, when, when is your session, Mark, you have one today too, right? I, I have a session today. 
I have a session today. Oh, no, I have a session during one of the network and I think it starts at 1230 actually, but we're logging in at 1130. So I had to get the time right because historically what will happen to ensure that I am on time, I have two calendars and I put in the actual time that it says on that calendar because I never want to be late to any NAR event. So I have uh, two calendars open just to make sure that I'm on time, <laughs> one in central time and then one in the time zone in which we're in because the conference is going to always be in a different time zone. Okay. And so today I have a session with a V Adorna Carol. Let me say that correctly. The v Adorna Carol. Right. Shout out to Adorna. Yes. And, and then tell that us session, the, the gonna... name of it. Yeah. Oh, the, come down here to 1230 today, J-Man. And actually, look, this is how I'm prepared, right? I have all of my events. I highlight the subject and the time. Today, we're going to have business and transition topics and trends 2021. Uh, and then all of these are sheets of paper for the different presentations, because unlike going to a face-to-face -face. some of us might have uh done some recordings so i want to hop in and moderate those sessions in real time and have additional resources but this is how i would normally look for a realtor conference and expo i don't rely on my mobile device i print everything out put it in a three ring binder as a backup when you think about being positioned in front of sometimes up to twenty five thousand realtor members you don't want to have any hiccups in your program. So I am a person who is, I am not reactive. I hate that, right? I am proactive and I'm going to plan accordingly. And that's what we're telling people to do. So I have, look, I'm at home, but this is my online agenda and it's pages to this online agenda. <laughs> yeah, and, and, that's and I'll so tell funny you, I'm, 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 I'm a little different. I've got everything got the, I, in my iPad. <laughs> I everything knew that was coming. In my I knew iPad. <laughs> everything. And, and then I'm on the opposite. I, I don't have anything but the conference <laughs> app here, like the pro. And I go in and I heart it. I'm the guy that walks through, like, Jay, you don't got no books, nothing. No, nope. I got everything on my phone. I'm happy with it. I'm good. Uh, but I, you know, I will take take notes electronically. And here's just another quick tip for people: if they're going to be attending the roundtables at at 12 Central, one Eastern, you're limited to 25 people per networking roundtable, and Again, be camera ready, turn your camera on. They want it to be more like a fireside chat where it's 25 of us in a room with our cameras on talking about whatever the whatever that topic might be. You know, you have transaction globally, mastering video, Kyle Draper, he's great, early career, hot topics and building a team. You know, all these things, those are all going on at 12 o'clock. Once that's finished, then you run over. But guess what? You don't have to run over. You click over to Marky's session, right? And Jay, man, you know, the, what people didn't get is that we literally ran over from women's council to a governance meeting to a networking session to a conference session. We were literally running over. All over the city. And last year I was on steroids and could barely walk. So my saving grace was I didn't have any early morning sessions. And I decided to implement a Uber for everything. Normally I would walk for, and just Uber from building to building because once again, look, I could not have any deviations from this plan. Now I know that we all have uh, round tables and sessions. Why don't we share one valuable tip from our session or something we couldn't include in our session because we're limited on time? Jay, may you wanna share? What 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 should the people at home be doing? Let's say they decide not to register. Uh, they're not listening to a word that is coming out of our mouth. What is one great takeaway that you want to give to realtors to implement in 2021? One great tip is if you haven't embraced video yet, you need to not just embrace it, but take whatever your level is in video right now and just try to improve it like one notch, whatever that might be. Just get a little bit better because. Look, I've been doing video for 12 years. This is the first time I've done something like this with the three of us on one broadcast. I'm always trying to like, how can I find something harder? How can I you know, make it better? And so I think embrace it because look at our numbers are going up, they're going down. Maybe there's a vaccine, maybe it'll work. Uh, I think there's so much to do with video and how you can streamline your business. So I, I would say em embrace that and hopefully catch some notes from your wiser agents who decided to register and go to the conference. <laughs> Carrie, what about you? And let me I, say, you this. know, I want us to applaud J-Man first. 
because this production this morning, J Man, you made it possible. You did a freaking phenomenal job with this. Um, I don't think people would know that this was like the first time we're doing this. So look, we're sitting here with our fingers crossed up under our anchor desk, like right. it worked. <laughs> And I'm on three different devices trying to make sure we're streaming everywhere we said we would stream and we're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah, we're Woo. doing good. So I'll, my one, my one tip is this, and then I'll tie it into video. You have to be an agent that is always learning. You know, in my um, new journal, the, the new uh, real estate agents journal is I have a section that says always be learning. And right with that, I say, if, if you're someone that doesn't consistently learn something new, you could be left behind. You know, they say an agent without a listing is listless. Always be someone that's learning something new and then take that information and put it into video because in, in a year, in two years, when outside opens back up, you want to be the agent that people already know because they've been watching you consistently online. I've been going live every Friday on Instagram. And my numbers have gone from five people watching me up to about 60 because I've been consistent. And the truth is, is when you teach someone something that you know, it helps you. So always learn something new. I'm going to piggyback on that as well. So everyone has been talking about TikTok. And I'm seeing a lot of people repurpose TikTok. J-Man and I, we have a TikTok from the Remax convention back, was that February? That back was February, in February. seems like last With year. With that being said, uh, TikTok, I decided was not going to be my platform of choice. So I'm pretty elated by the fact that Instagram now has Reels. So I'm embracing it now because I didn't want to implement another platform, but I'm willing to implement another stream inside of an existing platform because I have a large audience over there. One of the reasons all three of us create video content consistently is because we repurpose that content in up to 200 different forms of content. Video is not something that you should outsource. It is something that you should do. There are reports that state that the person who does more video connects and has higher sales because people get to know, like, and trust them when they can't see them face to face. Yes, so true. Again, I mean, I sister. will say that we've had... We, we we can say J Man said he's been doing this since for ten years. I used to edit television in the '90s, so we do have a little bit of leverage. But Marky yeah, always tapes. says something that everyone needs to know. Uh, what do you, you say? Um, stop getting ready to get ready, or stop did I say that ready wrong? to get ready? Yeah. Stop okay. getting ready to get ready. Stop getting ready to get ready to do video. Just do it. People do not care about how you look. They want you to solve their buying and selling problems. So true. Let's um do you guys have any other favorites for today? Looking, I know Marky, do you have something that you've highlighted in your binder, your 300 page conference? <laughs> we're gonna give Marky a hard time forever. It's all right. I'm going to Brian Buffini and uh -huh. I am also going to my session. So after that, I decided I was trying to take two to three sessions per day. Uh, I can't come to the round table today, even though I'm going to the round table every other day. Mm -hmm. And I am also going to go to hang out in the hallway because honestly, the hallway probably brings me 10% uh, of my annual business. It's just as a result of passing people in the hallway, letting them see your face. And I'm a hugger, uh, stopping them, hugging them, and then always mentioning something that they posted online. A right. raise, children graduating, uh, their new garden, the fact that they uh, grew heirloom tomatoes this year, whatever the case may be. So you have to have the ability to listen, but come and hang out in that hallway and start making those connections. Yeah, so I'm going to say some of my favorites. We have the uh, Sabrina Lowry, a good, good friend of ours out of Atlanta, Georgia. She's got a session at 11.15. 11.15, socially ethical professional. There's a lot of ALs there. Um, and then one of my co-presenters with Lisa Betts, he has a session, Antoine DuPont. Uh, he's, he's a Frenchman. He's great. He's, he curses like he's from France. And he, uh, he has a class on, on YouTube, um, YouTube hacks or something like that, I think. I interviewed him last year on my podcast. It was a good session. Yeah, he's a, oh, yeah, YouTube. I have the YouTube one, but I, I might, I don't know, I might have to, to jump into another if you're going to watch YouTube. But I, yeah, I do I'll, have. I'll watch them so we can all kind of divide and conquer and then like recap tomorrow. 
And oh, I have to dominate beautiful. digital marketing at 1115 since you're going to the socially ethical professional, but I might need to jump back and forth between the federal legislative and political forum because I'm an FPC for one of our US reps. Yeah. But I will say this, I, I'm just, Marky, I think you should go, isn't there one here on, Marky, you should go to the NAR and AARP talk. I, are you the oldest of us? <laughs> I'm dead. Uh, uh, <laughs> I am. Look, I'm the shortest, darkest, roundest person in the room with the least amount of hair, baby, and I'm 50 and popping, boo. Fitty. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was and good. I'll go to the sustainable sustainability as a brokerage. I, you know, I don't know. I I went, man, what about those last ones? Yeah, yeah the, go ahead, Marky. When the AARP mail starts showing up, you instantly feel insulted. Let me just be clear. They might have great benefits, but I was not expecting that on my 50th, like right before my 50th birthday, that they would start sending you AARP mail. I think my husband went online a few years ago and signed me up because I've been getting the AARP stuff for a while. I think it was a, a, a joke. <laughs> well, you um, are the oldest. Here's, here's one thing that, that Carrie and I did notice yesterday. When you see sponsored by... Boomtown, sponsored by Realtor.com, sponsored by whoever. It it it's not doesn't mean that the speaker is necessarily from that company. It you know you've seen that in conferences in the past where you're like, oh, okay, they're from the company. It's not somebody that maybe maybe I maybe you do maybe you don't. But no, these are the actual speakers. It's just that company decided to sponsor that that specific session. And then at the end of the day, three thirty, we got that bingo bongo for those you know those of you who went to that retirement plan. No. Um, <laughs> But we did. And he, in all fairness, I will tell you, J Man and I last night, eight o'clock his time, seven o'clock my time, I was like, we should download it and check it out because, you know, the older I get, the next one, the Battle of the DJs that I think we all should look at. Sometimes, you know, when I would go to the parties nowadays, you know, the, here's the, the story Mark and I always will come to your event, but we are very strategic. And, and you, before you know it, we're gone. We have left the party because. It's just not like it was when we were in our 20s. So bingo might have to test bingo. And you could do it all from your yeah, mobile from, device. from your phone. So it's important if you do plan to do that, even if you don't plan to do that, if you go in there, they're going to ask you to put your email address in so that you could receive whatever app or program they're using to do it on your phone. And that should be fun. Then if you want to head over to the DJs. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm not DJing. Um, I know I should be. I know I should be on the ones and twos. Uh, but no. Uh, it should be fun. It should be some really, of course, I'm sure they have some great DJs that are going to be battling it out virtually. Uh, but again, networking happens. You see people, you talk to people. Obviously, you may not talk to them um, through the audio in the event, but the, the chat features is, is what you want to look out for. You know, maybe we should also, are there any other sessions um, that you're doing, Marky, so we can make sure that our viewers at least come check us out? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I have roundtables on Tuesday and Wednesday. One, we're going to talk about Instagram stories. The other one, we're going to talk about leveraging your feed, um, leveraging your listings on Instagram. And then I also tomorrow have video strategies to secure real estate leads quickly. And I talk about how to do so via Facebook Live, creating essentially video sales funnels and Instagram. There are two places to do it inside of Instagram. And I also have, you got your company, now what? So it was kind of funny. And I think this happens to us every year where we just hope and pray for one event. And then it ends up being like a whole plethora of events, right? Uh, so last year I had 11 events. It was my busiest realtor conference and expo. I'm still waiting on someone to get back to me about three online presentations. Uh, we didn't confirm on Friday. So it looks like I have uh, three, six. I'm at eight right now. Well, <laughs> let, let's give them another quick tip because in the agenda, you can go to your speakers and hopefully you heart all three of us, right? Marky, myself, and and Carrie. So I've already done that because I, I heart you guys. Um, are you ladies, right? And if I go in here, Carrie Little, and then I can go speaking at, so it's a good way to make sure that you get all of your, your favorite speakers and you attend all of their sessions uh, right. rather than and I'm with there's so many sessions, you might miss somebody if you don't search by speakers. Well, let me say for my session, I happened to, I didn't have to really speak. I got to moderate 
a great panel. I have the Sarah Ware of Ware Realty Group, the okay. Hope Mims from Mims Realty Group in Baltimore, Maryland. Sarah Ware is here with us. And then I have my husband, Mark Little. So if you've never seen the Carrie and Mark show, he showed up for that set. He, he's someone that will show up for a session. So join us. Uh, on Wednesday from 1230 to 115 Central Time, uh, where you're going to hear all about boutique broker, the trend in boutique brokerages and technology. That's great. So let's um, let's get a little bit social. Uh, we have a, a streaming banner up here at the top. Uh, and, and it's one of the things that we did discover that with hashtags are being a, a, a little bit suppressed because they have to be monitored and filtered uh, because of the political process. And so we figured the best way to for you guys to to at us on the IG or the Facebook, it's at J Man Speaks, at Carrie Joe Little, at Marky Lemons. When you post something, if you're in a session, you're like, "Damn, they're dropping some nuggets in this session!" <laughs> Boom, get take a little video, screen record, add a little something to it, tag us in it, and then we'll we'll be reposting. We'll um, sh we should we should reward them for their hard work. What what, what are we gonna do? What do you think? Make sure they use Good Morning NAR. Make yeah, sure you use good morning and AR. Good morning and AR. So I think we had talked about the fact that we all have a little money over on this platform called Amazon, a little. So we've decided that every day this week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we will award a $25 Amazon gift card, which you receive via email. Right. <clears throat> so you can shop, you can shop as soon as you get it and have your nice little delivery by Thanksgiving. Right. If you tag us. And the reason for you tagging us is due to the fact that we are seeing that uh, hashtag suppression. And so we're not seeing hashtags pop up in real time. They're actually filtering them to ensure the accuracy of information being posted. Uh, and you might have even seen a dip in your engagement on Instagram. I have, oh, since the election, I've seen my numbers go down in regards to that because yeah. they want to make sure the information is correct. Exactly. So you would uh, essentially tag Carrie Joe Little, Marky Lemons, or J Man in a post and use the hashtag Good Morning NAR. We're going to review that and then we're going to award a $25 Amazon gift card per day. So tomorrow morning we will announce today's winner. Plus, and we'll check. We're going to check Facebook, we're going to check Twitter, and they use hashtags on LinkedIn. So we're going to check. Plus, we will repost it on our social networks, which is far more valuable, folks. Right? You talk about that social media juice. Uh, we do have one question from one of the groups. I'm over here trying to follow everything, and it's great for my ADHD. Um, so, <laughs> uh, Ch Chantel Franklin says, any more suggestions of speakers we should follow? So, uh, I had Kyle Draper, right. Antoine Dupont, Evan Fuchs, uh, Barb Betts. Any, anybody else you guys want to shout out? Then I think Sabrina Lowry that go I back, mentioned earlier. Go back to the uh, agenda. Um, if you could pull that agenda up. So I've interviewed Barb Betts last year. We had a standing room session at NAR. I've interviewed Cal Draper and implemented a lot of his strategies and techniques about storytelling into my business. Uh, and and uh, the people who I'm picking are people who I have personally seen, heard, know that they're going to teach you something that you can take and you can run with it. So it's not that I'm slighting anyone else. Oh, check out my girl, Michelle. Oh, yes. Uh, from Remax. She is going to have a session uh, about, I think, because uh, she's a little older than us. And so she talks, uh, age has something to do with uh, in her session, guys. Definitely. I, Who else is I, there? I would throw Only out Brown Bobby Howe. Bobby Howe, oh, yeah. BBI. Definitely. I would definitely throw out, shout out Nate Johnson. Oh, um, yeah. And, Nate Johnson, especially based on everything that happened in regards to the change to the code of ethics last week, I would definitely go follow him. Oh, and Adorna Carroll, oh, the Adorna Carroll. Oh, Amy Churru from, uh, she's not, is it Better Homes and Garden or now is she Realogy? She's Realogy, yeah. Okay. I would say you should go check out the um, CEO of the National Association of Realtors, Bob Goldberg, is um, is our president speaking. I'm trying to, I'm sure, you know what? Go to the wrap up every single day. The wrap up of the yeah. convention every single day. Yeah. 
And just I'm go through, I mean, it again, it all starts with filling out your profile, what you like. There's an algorithm that really is built in to say, okay, here's what you're more likely to want to attend. Start there. If you don't find what you're looking for, then just go all sessions each, each hour and then pick one or two. What's great is, you know, just, just like Carrie and Marky said, like, you don't have to run over to another session. If you go to a session, you're like, oh, I like it, but let me check out the other one. Just pop back out and go to the next session. I mean, you don't, last year in San Francisco, I sprained my ankle. You want to talk about not being able, I was running the first morning and went, and then I had a sprained ankle for three days, walking miles a day. It's crazy. Oh, you know what? We've got John Legend, who's going to talk about oh, fair housing. What time is that? Oh, I, I just, I just Why don't is even remember. on my agenda? That's crazy. Yeah, that wasn't on my agenda, Carrie. Thank you for reminding me. General session, Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. Central time. That's going to yeah. be a big one. And then um, Katie Lance, Marky, you've interviewed Katie Lance did, several times. Did we Katie Lance? Did we? And then, First wait a minute, there's someone else from Illinois, uh, Marsha Collins. She is a oh, realtor yes. here in Illinois, but she's going to be talking global. She does business all over the United States and globally, and globally. So shout out to Marsha. Oh, Holly Mayberry. She's a good friend of ours. Oh, Holly. Life, right? Out of Arizona. She's great. Like she is. All right. Well, folks, hopefully we helped you in this 30 minutes. You wanted to keep it right to around 30 minutes. Be sure to post your favorite moments and tag us on IG, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you know, whatever other thing you might be on. Maybe we're on there too. tag us. Use the hashtag. Good morning. NAR. We will be here again tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Central. This is Jeremiah's J Man Mineral J Man Speaks and Marky Lemons Rao. <laughs> And Carrie Joe Little, smartgirlmedia.com. All right, folks, make it a great day. Bye. Oh, studio audience needs to applaud. They're very excited. <laughs> <laughs>